because of the bullying that's happening from energy transfer partners and from this pipeline and from Chelsea Warren, um, you know, abusing eminent domain and, and taking land from landowners and never having an uh, environmental impact study being done to determine, you know, what kind of damage is being done to this area, to the water, to the land. And uh, we're here to say enough is enough. If we don't start setting up now, who knows where we're going to be at in 10 years? What, what kind of future are we going to leave behind for, you know, for our kids and our, our grandkids and, and their grandkids? Outside support's coming in. People are coming in from other states. Um, people are coming down from North Dakota. The momentum's uh, growing and it's growing here in Texas and, and that's what we need. You know, all the fracking that's going to be happening here, that's going to be, you know, uh, contaminating not just the water and the land and the air, but sacred sites, you know, and, you know, land that's owned by people that, you know, have been lived here for generations and they're feeling like they're getting bullied. Enough is enough. It's time to start standing up for our people, start standing up for our land, start standing up for our water, and start thinking of trying to leave a better future for our future generations. Because it isn't right what they're doing. It isn't right that they're able to take the land from people. It's not right that they're able to run these pipelines, contaminate the water with their fracking. It's not right that they don't care about the people. We hope that we can slow it down enough so that we can give enough time for all the people that are up in Standing Rock, all the people in the different states, um, to find the way, their way down here to kind of help and stand by us in solidarity, the same as we did out there in Cannonball. Many of us went out there to Cannonball to show that support and that solidarity. And if anything, the biggest teaching we got out of there was the power and unity. And that's what we need here. This is what we need now. That's what we need in Texas, is that power and unity. So we need our people to come together from all different states, from all different parts of the nation, all different parts of the country. Come out, come out to those camps, to Rivers Camp, and you know, join us out here, stand in solidarity, stand side by side, to let, you know, let this corporate industry know we're not gonna stand by and watch. So this land was originally part of the Americas before colonization, right? So before there were borders and before we were separate countries, it was all one land that belonged to the indigenous people of the Americas, which is my ancestors, you know, and my future descendants, hopefully, and the ancestors of all my brothers and sisters that are here. Um, and when we build pipelines, especially under bodies of water like rivers, you know, we're running the risk of poisoning the water. And then that water, by extension, is no longer able to nourish the body bodies of the people that live in these lands, you know? So it's not only violating our sacred lands, but it's also actively hurting the humans who live off of these, these waters and who need it to survive, you know? Many of the Conchos and the Lipan, Apaches, and Mascaleros, and Carizo Comacrudos, all these different tribal nations, you know, the Hamanos, and all of them that, you know, travel through here, this was sacred, sacred to them. You know, this, this land was sacred to them. Their, their family, their loved ones, their ancestors are buried in this ground. So for them to not take that in consideration, for them to say that they, they, they think they have an excuse to and why they don't need to have an environmental impact study done is, is unacceptable. Our government is not protecting us because they're not regulating these pipelines. They're not regulating the fracking that's going on. The Big Bend region is under attack by multiple oil and gas industry uh, efforts and this pipeline just helps perpetuate the fracking. We have to honor the indigenous people of this land and we have to make sure that we honor the land itself and in that way we'll honor each other and we'll sustain this place for longer.